Of course you take it for granted because it's around you all the time. I know. Some of these people have never seen a bear print before in their life. That's yeah. the reason why we're out here showing the world. That's cool. And it's thanks to God and people like you who've helped us, man. A few seconds later, we got some kind of strange, I don't know, like a scary sound like I've never heard before. Well, maybe that's the Bigfoot, so. We're going to the area right now where Zeke had his first encounter. Um, mid to late September. And, uh, we're going to see what something comes in and checks us out again tonight. Stick with us. We got a tree knock that night. Zeke picked up a stick and hit them together and we're hitting them on these 4x4s and we got a response. on top of the hilltop. We were down in the brush. We heard what sounded like a wolf. Um, very drawn out, long, sustaining howl with some dead silence in between. And then all the coyotes started going crazy, yipping and screaming, and almost like they were, maybe they were being attacked by something. Captain Levi here. Well, you can't see it without being on the boat. I got you. Tell me about the strange thing. Anything strange happening here on the Red River? There's no she strange things happening over here. Oh, but some of the old snow. Those fangs is best left alone. Where only the Sasquatch goes. There's people that can tell you. There's the ones that know the facts. It's very strange, very odd that there is actually tree breaks and stuff in the area. We got his multi-camera, he's got his wet gear, he's got spare ammo, he's got his seat. And he left out of here with very fast. And we just did a recon down around it. There is fresh tracks, but... Sasquatch goes. 